Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about resource allocation graph. Welcome here and we are talking about resource allocation graph and um, this is the graph depicting uh, just now we have seen this uh, this method of uh, this one that each process utilizes the resource as follows there is a request part use part and the release part and in that context we are looking at this resource allocation graph a set set of vertices v and a set of a, a set of edges e vertices v is partition uh, into two types okay p is equal to p1 p2 pn is the set of all processes in the system so vertex vertices for this graph v and e and vertex will be your uh, processes in the system that is one type and the second type is r r1 r2 rm is consist of resource type consist of resource type requested okay so when we are requesting when a process is requesting when the process request a resource then there will be directed hpi to rj okay requesting pi sorry pi to rj this is the request one and assignment will be uh, rj will be allocated so there will be direction in opposite one rj to pi for example if i have a resource here uh, let's say two type of resource two instance of the resource and pi has been allocated of resource type r1 so this is the allocation part if it is needed r2 type of the resource and there is a single instance then that will be the request part this circle represent a process uh, this uh, Square represent your resource type with four instance. Uh, PI requested an instance will be depicted in this way that PI is the process requesting for resource of type RJ and PJ is holding an instance of RJ will be depicted one instance and then this arrow to RJ. So these are the symbols uh, that we are going to use and I hope it's very simple and you understand this. This is an example of a resource allocation graph where four kinds of, type of resource are there. There is a single still instance of R1, R2, R3 and R4 and P1 has been allocated one instance of R2 requesting one instance of R1. P2 is allocated one instance of R2 and requesting one instance of R1. P2 is uh, also a uh, 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 requesting one instance of R3. Okay, so here uh, this uh, sorry, a P2 has been allocated one instance of R1 and R2. Uh, there is an incoming edge, and it is looking for one instance of R3. That one instance of the R3 has been allocated to P3. Okay, and P3 is no having no such requirement. Now think of a situation if P3 has no such requirement then it will use the resource R3 and it will release it. It will release it. Then this instance can be utilized by P2 because this is requesting it. P2 can also use the resource R3, R1 and R2 and it will release it and that instance can be given to P1 with a deadlock. Now, now look at here a deadlock situation here and here we have a uh, somewhat similar but here p3 was alone and here now p3 is requesting one resource of r2 now here p3 cannot be allocated because one is allocated to p1 another is allocated to p2 so in that case p3 will not be able to complete anything and it will hold this r3 p2 is looking for r3 and holding r1 and r2 p1 is holding one r2 and looking for r1 and this entire situation leading into a deadlock situation okay just compare this diagram and this diagram here p3 was alone we completed everything was smooth and here we stuck now this graph is consist of cycle like here 
P1 is looking for a source of R1, which is allocated to P2 and P3, uh, and holding a resource of R2. P3 is looking for uh, a process, uh, requesting R2 resource, and that R21 instance is allocated to P4. Yes, there is a cycle. You can see there is a cycle, but P2 is a pendant vertex here, and P2 the moment it will P2 and P4 will ultimately they are going to finish their task using of the resource r1 using of the resource r2 and then they are going to leave it the moment they will leave it okay the moment it's supposed to be leave this then this resource can be allocated to p3 and p3 will finish p2 will also finish eventually p3 will finish because one will be allocated to him and it will use it and release it and then this Graph is having a cycle but no deadlock but in this situation graph is having a cycle something like this and it's a deadlock. Cycles has something to do with the deadlock and that can be summarized as if graph is having no cycle no deadlock. If graph contains a cycle then if one instance instances per resource type then deadlock. If several instance per resource type possibility of the deadlock. So still it is not claiming that uh, if you have more resources of the if one resource definitely deadlock and if the several instance of the per resource type then possibility of the deadlock okay so that is the your resource allocation graph and uh, these are the just requesting and assignment ages this is the uh, part where we are using symbols uh, this is one example where it is not in deadlock. This is an example where it is in deadlock. Uh, this is a cycle but no deadlock. Conclusion is no cycle, no deadlock. That is always true. Graph with the cycle may have a deadlock if there is a one instance per resource type. And if we have several instances, then there is a possibility of the deadlock. Okay. So that's all for this discussion. Thank you.